on January 1st, uh, 2009, my nephew Oscar Grant was shot in the back, laying prone, face down, with his hands behind his back, by Johannes Mesley at about 2.11 a.m. in the morning. Johannes Mesley threw Oscar to the ground, uh, jumped on his back, Tony Baroni jumped on his neck and pushed his face through the concrete floor, cracking the bones in his, uh, cracking his jaw bone, his bones in his face. Judge Robert Perry told us on our first day that if we don't make the crowd go away, he would make our case last five, seven, ten years or longer until a whole, all the crowd go away. Had we conceded to that and went outside and told the crowd to leave, what we saw happen with Oscar would not, Oscar wouldn't even have a name today because everybody would have been gone, wouldn't have been able to hold the, the system accountable and threaten that this system will be attacked if it fails to do the right thing. And because that always lingered in the minds of those sitting in powerful places that this was a possibility, uh, we were able to get some form of transparency. And we were able to allow to some degree um, the story of what happened in the courtroom become worldwide. And we pretty much forced the judge's hand to where he tried to cover it up, but had to concede to even the jury finding him guilty on a low term of involuntary manslaughter. It is extremely uncommon for an officer to be held and convicted for a shooting of a black, brown, or even marginalized white person in the United States. Um, I think what really made Oscar um, shooting so significant was the fact that we had, we had of course, uh, community involvement, those activists that had been around for a while, but those people that kind of got pulled out because of the video, the technology. Uh, we had a combination of labor involved causing economic hardship for the state of California by shutting down the ports. And of course, um, the thought that um, Oakland, maybe LA or some other city could catch on fire because people are so outraged and so tired of seeing a system totally disrespecting and not having no form of, uh, of love for justice that a person is entitled to even when it's on video. You know, it was from that movement with Oscar where we realized as a family, I did personally, that it had the community not embraced us, supported us, and stood with us, uh, we wouldn't have been able to do this by ourselves. And so I felt it really important that any time a young man is killed anywhere, that I embrace that family. For you to be here is critical. Dr. Martin Luther King said it this way. Cowards ask, is it safe? Expediency ask, is it political? Vanity ask, is it popular? But conscience ask, is it right? There comes a time when neither safe, political, or popular is the reason why you stand. You stand because it is right. Are you standing because it is right? Are you standing because it is right? Are you standing because it is right? That's what we need on an international level. I could not not be here um, because I understand how important it is that I embrace my families here in London that have suffered the same pain we have in, as uh, a family in the United States. You know, because it goes back to what we begin to do two days after Johanna Medley's sentencing for the murder of my nephew. When the UK families came to Oscar Grant Plaza and began to tell their stories about what was happening here in London, there was an immediate connection. Such an immediate connection that as we embrace we can feel this, 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 this pain, this sadness, this struggle, and the love for the loved one that was killed, that we had to do something. Though we are fighting for this, at some point, it is the babies that have to carry it on. In order to change a system, we must bring the babies in, empower them, and then what we see is what we see with Black Lives Matter, a movement led by young people. Not in the same old traditional sense where it's one person speaking on behalf of all and this is what we're doing, but pockets of leaders, young people, bringing in a whole new way of a movement in order to bring freedom, justice, and equality to all.